Hello, my name is Orvina from 11th grade and today I'm going to tell a story about the greedy king. Once there was a king who led a very prosperous kingdom. He was very generous and fit to be a leader. People under his rule was very happy and peaceful. One day, however, his kingdom was struck by a great disaster. An horrible drought had let the ground cracked and the river river thirsting for water. The fields were barren as there is no more crops to harvest. The people were distressed as they were starving. Their pantries were already dried and soon their stomach would follow. They had sold everything to sustain their lives, but their effort wasn't enough. Eventually, the people of the kingdom could not bear to live miserable anymore. They went to the king to request his help. On their way to the castle, they encountered him observing the state of the kingdom. One of them went forward and asked, Your Highness, our land suffers now in a dire situation. We've done everything to continue our lives. Now, we ask for your help. What will you do for your land and people, Your Highness? The king answered, Go home now. I will find a solution as fast as possible. At night, the king was walking in the village, thinking about the situation, about the solution for his people. Out of nowhere, a mysterious old man came and told him, There is a cave in the middle of the forest, just some distance away from your castle. The content inside could solve your problem but you should use it wisely. Then the old man left. The king was confused. He couldn't believe what the old man said, but at the same time, he wanted to help his people. So he went to the forest by himself to prove it. He walked around the trees for a while, trying to find a way to the cave. When he seemed to lose his resolve, the cave, fin the cave finally appeared in his path. He was shocked by the content inside it. There was a lot of gold piled up against other. Many days passed and the kingdom has no drought anymore. The people wouldn't live with a merciful life as the river had the water back and the plant turned green. But one day in the middle of the night, the king had an idea on how to expand his castle. He thought about the gold in the cave would really help him to make it come true. Therefore, with no doubt, the king went back to the cave again to take more gold. I will be the richest king and my kingdom will be the biggest in this world. As he took more gold to expand his kingdom, he needed more gold every day. So he always went back to the cave every night to take more. The more gold he took, the greedier he became. He didn't realize the more gold he took would decrease his life. One morning, the king just woke up from his sleep, but he felt very weak until he thought he needed help to wake up from his bed. I'm still young, so I can't be weak, especially when I know I'm a king, said him. He walked in front of a mirror in his room. He looked into it and was instantly shocked. A wrinkled face with graying hair stared upon him. At first, he couldn't believe that it was him. He circled around his room, thinking about his trouble. He couldn't find a single reason as how to he turned old, until he realized one thing. He was hoarding gold from the cave all this time, and he knew this was his punishment. Faced by the consequence at hand, the king didn't know what to do. He locked himself up in his room for days, worrying his people. But there was one thing he knew. He couldn't continue to hide himself forever. After days spent thinking alone, he made up his mind to go outside and apologize to the people for his grave. Upon stepping outside his room, his servant was shocked by the appearance of the king. Gather all of my people in front of the castle, he ordered the servant. 
every person in the kingdom was eventually gathered, wanting to know what happened to the king. They were shocked when they saw an old man dressed at him, appearing in front of them. I am your king, he said, sending his people confused even further. The king told his people everything, told them about how he became greedier the more gold he took. He told them how he aged quickly as he became greedier. He apologized to them for being a selfish king. Your Highness, you already received your punishment and reflected from it, so there would be no reason for us to despise you further, the person said. Everyone who gathered there agreed and forgave him for his mistake. After that day, they returned to their usual everyday life. Even though the king did not revert back to his young body, He managed to learn a valuable lesson from his mistake. He swore that he would never be greedy again for the rest of his life. This is the story that the writing class from Bintang Mandiri School made called The Greedy King. Thank you.